over the past few months, Nikola Motors has gained massive media coverage for horrible reasons. Trevor Milton, the former executive chairman of Nikola Motors, has left a terrible stain on the company after making suspiciously fraudulent claims about Nikola's battery and hydrogen technology. However, Nikola, as it stands today, still has a market cap in the billions. Tesla's recent move has ended Nikola's last valuable asset and it's safe to say that the company is worth practically zero now. In this video, I'm going to go over how Tesla just obliterated Nikola's last chance as a successful company. Welcome to Kaz Games Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. So let's say you're Trevor Milton. You're the executive chairman of Nikola Motors far before Nikola's valuation is in the billions. Your previous businesses have successfully scammed people, but you don't have quite enough money to live lavishly. You need Nikola Motors to not only obtain media coverage, but also obtain cold hard cash. Of course, you're not going to build an enticing product for the consumer. After all, you have no experience with batteries or hydrogen fuel cells. Yet you have seen a design on a semi truck that isn't patented yet. You also know that Tesla is using that design, and Elon Musk just so happens to have a boatload full of money. So what do you do? File a patent for the design, and sue Tesla for using your quote unquote proprietary technology. When I first started developing this truck, the coefficient of drag was impossible to achieve without moving the door behind the driver. And this had never been done up to this point. Now of course, you know that the design is on the Tesla Semi prototype, but Tesla has yet to show usage of it, so that design does not exist yet. Prototypes aren't considered by the patent office, and this is your chance to make it big. Some people have built mock-ups of things, but the patent office doesn't consider that a patent. You've got to actually show utility usage of it. So they know nothing about patent law. If they did, they would, you know, it's, if you don't like it, go change patent law. But here's the facts of America and how the patent office has been set up since the foundation of our country. The fact that you have the inside information about Tesla Semi is important. You know for sure that Tesla is using this design because it's the only way that aerodynamics work well with batteries. We knew that Tesla's design, because someone had told us about it, we knew that Tesla's design was very similar to ours. Now that you've got the patent filed, it's time to take some ransom money from Tesla. And, and what we did is we reached out to Tesla. So this is where a lot of Tesla people, does not, do, you know, investors don't know this or fans because of the reporting. We actually reached out and we said, hey guys, we want to meet with you. Please meet with us. I, I, I want to work with you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to, I'm, we're in this together, you know, but the most important thing is we just don't want to use our patents or if you do, we want to work with you so you can do it the right way. And essentially their response was piss off. Obviously, Elon Musk is not going to pay for his own design. Trevor spied on Elon's design, patented it, and is now trying to get money for it. Essentially, this is industry espionage at the highest level. After this happens, Trevor then sues Tesla for using Nikola's design patents. Now that we understand exactly what's going on here from Trevor Milton's perspective, let's talk about how Tesla just ended this case and Nikola as a whole once and for all. Nikola's lawsuit filed against Tesla seeks to obtain $2 billion in damages from Tesla. This was practically the last valuable asset that Nikola had. $2 billion would allow the automaker to rebound from Trevor Milton's resignation and possibly create a battery electric semi-truck. While this would be fantastic for Nikola, Tesla just made that lawsuit worthless. Back in 2010, there was a challenge named the Michelin Design Challenge, which still exists today. For the 2010 event, a man by the name of Adriano Mudry decided that he would design a hydrogen semi-truck but needed the correct aerodynamics for the truck to be efficient. What he ended up creating is the same design as Nikola's and Tesla's but far before both of them. What Tesla just found out was that Adriano actually met with Trevor Milton in 2014 or 2015. Tesla found out that Trevor Milton bought the design from Adriano but Trevor never disclosed this in Nikola's patent or lawsuit. In fact, in Nikola's lawsuit against Tesla, Trevor stated that he designed the truck in his basement, when the reality was that he bought it from Adriano. This lie, by definition, is illegal. Trevor stated that he invented Nikola's truck design when he actually just purchased it. So by this definition, in order for Nikola's patent to be valid, Adriano must be listed as an inventor in the patent. In Tesla's lawsuit, the company claimed, Adriano Mudry's Roadrunner concept truck design constituted a significant inventive contribution to the inventions claimed in the design patents. 
Adriana Mudry was not identified as an inventor during prosecution of the applications that led to the design plans. This once and for all makes Nikola's last asset worthless, and as a result, the entire company is practically worth zero. Let me know whether or not you believe that Trevor Milton will receive potential jail time for this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.